Hi, this is Jeff Gearling. I'm going to show you today how to set up a faceted Apache Solar Base Search in Drupal 8. For the past few years, I've been blogging about different ways you can use Apache Solar with Drupal to make really customized, fast, and friendly searches for your site. The goal today is to set up a search that will let you uh, facet the search so that you can filter uh, based on the content type in Drupal. This kind of search is used all over the internet uh, by lots of different sites. For example, this is Zappos.com for purchasing shoes and other types of clothing. You'll notice that it's the same as on like Amazon, Newegg, Best Buy, Lowe's, all these different websites use this because it's an easy way to narrow down from a lot of different content to the exact content that the user is looking for. In this case, they have facets for gender, they have facet for performance, what type of shoe, what type of running shoe they have, uh, colors, so if I click gray, it'll only show me the gray shoes. Uh, they have all these different facets so that, that people can find exactly what they're looking for very quickly, and they even can see how many of the, of the different types of items are available. Uh, so that said, the first thing that we'll need to do to be able to set up faceted search on a Drupal 8 site is to have a Drupal 8 site. And not only do we need Drupal, which requires Linux and Apache and MySQL and PHP, uh, or whatever kind of OS you want to use, you also need to have Apache Solar, which requires Java to be installed. So if you want, you can install those things on your computer or on a server somewhere. Uh, but I actually have a configuration here that makes it easy for you to set it up inside of an instance of Drupal VM that will run locally on your computer. So instead of you having to configure all this software, all you need to do is copy this configuration and run a copy of Drupal VM, and it will build everything for you. Uh, so to do that, Go to Drupal VM's website and download it. Uh, once it's downloaded, expand the downloaded file. And I'm going to rename this to Solar Facets. And then the next step is to follow the quick start guide, which is linked here. And you'll basically need to install Vagrant and VirtualBox on your computer. This should work on a Mac or a PC or a Linux machine. Whatever kind of computer you have, it should work pretty fine as long as it's a relatively new computer. Uh, after you install those two pieces of software, copy this out and create a config.yaml file. So I'm going to duplicate this file and call it config.yaml. And I'm going to open it and delete everything from it and just paste in this configuration. This is telling it to install Apache Solar in addition to some other tools. It's going to run a script to configure Apache Solar, and then it's going to use Composer to build your Drupal 8 website. Uh, you could also use this on, a, on an existing site. You just have to change the configuration to match. But in this case, we're going to tell it where to look for uh, the Composer file and then also what, what kinds of uh, modules that we're going to need to install on the site. In this case, we need Search API, Search API Solar, and the Facets module. And we also might use the Devel module to do some things. So once I create this file and save it, the next step is uh, to copy the example.drupal.composer.json file. This describes the basic Drupal 8 site that we're going to build. Copy that to oops, drupal.composer.json. Now that these two files are in place, we can build this virtual machine and start building our Drupal 8 site. So I'm going to open up the terminal, and I'll make this bigger so it's easier to see. And I'm going to change directories into this VM directory. And I'm going to say Vagrant up. Now this process takes a little time, so I'm actually going to speed up the video here and not talk for a little bit so that it can finish building the, the virtual machine. The first time you do this, it could take 5, 10, or 20 minutes, depending on your internet connection. But as time goes on and you build more of these VMs, it actually gets a lot faster. Now that Drupal VM's finished installing everything, this is one thing I didn't note before installing everything, but uh, there's a Vagrant plugin uh, called Vagrant Hosts Updater that you can use to make it automatically set up the right host name. Otherwise, you have to go to your hosts file on your computer and point it at Drupal VM manually. That's a little bit more annoying, but uh, this plugin actually will, let, will do that for you so you don't have to do it yourself. 
Uh, once it's run, you'll notice there's a new folder in your VM called Drupal, and that has a doc root and some composer files. This is the setup for your site, and then the doc root contains the Drupal code and all the contributed modules that were downloaded. Uh, that was all set up through Drupal VM uh, running the composer file to install everything. So now that we have that, we can visit drupalvm.dev vm .dev, and log into the site using the default uh, username and password, which is admin and admin. And now uh, you can see it's a normal Drupal 8 site and it has the standard install profile. And if I go to extend, I can enable the modules that I'll need. So in this case, I need to scroll down to the search API modules and I'm going to enable uh, facets, search API, solar search, and solar search defaults. Now this module, solar search defaults, actually sets up a default solar search for you that, so that you don't have to click around through the interface for 30 minutes. After we get that, we can disable this module again and just keep its configuration. Also, when you're going to install these modules, you'll want to make sure that uh, uh, Drupal's core search is uninstalled unless you need to use it for something else. But if you leave core search installed, it will actually create a duplicate index in your database, and that's not really helpful. Uh, so let me go to uninstall. And if I go down to search, I can disable that here, right there. Uninstall that module. And at this point, I should have the solar search modules and the facet module installed on the site if I go to configuration. And I can go down to search, search API. And uh, it's going to say that the solar server couldn't be reached, but we just need to tell it uh, the right settings to get to the solar server. So in our case, uh, we're going to tell it that instead of this D8 core, we're going to use the default core that comes with Drupal VM called Collection 1. You can actually change that in Drupal VM settings if you want, uh, but in our case, we're just going to update it manually here. All of these settings are defaults for Drupal VM, but the core needs to change to Collection 1. And then everything else uh, can, be, can be kept the same. Now once we save it, it should say that the server could be reached, and it does. Uh, and it says it's reaching it with 20 milliseconds of latency. That's, that's decent, but I think if we refresh the page, it's a little faster. It also tells you what version of Apache Solar is running, in our case 5.5.3. And Drupal VM lets you use Apache Solar 6, 5, 4, 3, whatever version you need. And it also tells you this, the schema of the, the Drupal setup that you're using with Solar. In this case, for the, the Search API Solar uh, Drupal 8 module, it's using this version of the Solar schema. Uh, this page is helpful to see in case you're having any trouble getting search working. You can check and see if there's any errors or issues on this page. You can also check the default solar content index and make sure that it's set up correctly. In our case, since this is a brand new website, it has zero items index. That means there's no content on the site to be indexed. Uh, but you can also see this is the index that was created by that defaults module. If I edit this, you'll see it's set up uh, to, to index all content on the site. And it, uh, since it says all except those selected, it's going to make sure that all different types of content are in this index. And you can go through here and look at all the different options it has. In our case, there's nothing that we need to change. We just want to make sure that this index is working. It configures all the fields that you need. Uh, it configures the field processors for when it indexes. It sends the data across in a certain format, and these processors will run on the, on the nodes. Uh, one of the most important ones is the content access processor. For any content on your site, you'll usually want this enabled so that Solar is only indexing content that's published or uh, available to the general public. Otherwise, when people search your content, they might be able to see things that aren't published, and that's not a good thing. So now that we have the search set up and that we can communicate with the server, we want to have some content on the site. Now you can either use an existing site and put this into it, or uh, you could go around and click through and create a bunch of articles and things. But there's a module that comes with the VEL called the VEL Generate that lets you generate dummy content for use in testing. Uh, so we're going to enable that module. And then once it's enabled, we can go to its configuration page and 
generate some content for the site. And I'm going to generate 100 nodes of both articles and pages. And we'll also say five comments on, on article nodes. And generate. Now it's going to create all that content for us. There are also Drush commands to do all these different things I'm doing in the user interface. It's actually faster to do it that way if you know how to use Drush in the command line, but I'm just doing it in the user interface to illustrate how all this is working. Another note is that in production, on your production servers, you'd usually configure Apache Solar to index content in batches. So every few minutes, it would take all the new content and put it into the search index. It's the same kind of theory as your database server. You don't want to overload it by writing new things to it while people are reading from it. But in development, we want to see our content as quickly as possible in the search index. So Drupal VM automatically configures your search index uh, to, to index new content immediately. So in that case, if I go back to the search index page, it should show me that all that content I just generated is already in the index. And we'll see if that's true. It says 100 and 100 nodes indexed. And if you go to the server page, it also shows you the index size. Uh, it shows you that there's 100 items and it's about two megabytes on the disk. For some sites, you might have hundreds or thousands of items uh, for other sites, you might even have hundreds of thousands or even millions of nodes. In those cases, you're going to want to have a better strategy for how you index your content, because if you don't, you, it might take months or years to index all your content. Uh, there's ways to index lots of content a lot more quickly. So now that we have this running, we're going to make a faceted solar search view. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to disable this, this uh, solar the default content module, uh, solar search defaults, because we don't need it anymore. It already set up a search for us. So I'm going to take that out of here. And what it did was it created that search server, the search index, and it even created a search page for us. So if I go to, now that it's uninstalled, if I go to this path solar search slash content, then it's going to show me this default search page that it already set up. And you'll notice that it shows a listing of all the content on the site. And if I search for VOCO, then it's going to show me all the content with that in the title and in the body of the text based on Solar's relevancy score. But we want to have a facet over here that lets me narrow this down by content type. Right now I have articles and basic pages. So to do that, um, I'm going to go to the configuration, and then go down to the facets. And I'm going to uh, add a facet and choose display page of the view solar search content. This was the view that's running that search page I just showed you. And then I'm going to choose the content type for the field. And we can call this the content type facet. Save. And when you get to this configuration page, there's lots and lots of options for facets. The defaults are usually adequate, but I like to do things like show the amount of results next to the facet so that you get that better user experience where they can see what they're going to be narrowing it down to. Uh, you can also add limits. You can change the way that the things are ordered. Um, one other one that's really helpful a lot of times is to use uh, the list item label. That means instead of showing a machine name like page, it would show the actual label like basic page. Uh, the same thing for taxonomy terms. If you're doing a taxonomy facet uh, and you notice that it shows like 1076, that means it's showing the term ID. You check this box and it will transform that term ID into the actual taxonomy term. Uh, so all the rest of these settings are good and I'm going to click save. And now we have this facet set up and you can go back and change the field that it's configured for and all that. Uh, but now if I go to structure and then block layout, I can actually place that facet wherever I want on the site. And the facets module is intelligent. It knows that if there's no search on the page that could use the facet, it shouldn't render that block. So we don't need to set specific visibility or anything like that. I'm just going to go into the first sidebar region and place a block for content type facet. This is the one I just created. And uh, I'm going to say uh, content type, or I'll say filter by text. 
type. And I don't have to set any restrictions. I'll save that. And then I'll make sure that's in the right order and I'll save my block layout. And now if I go back to that search page, then you'll see that there's a filter over here. This is the facet that we just set up and it shows that there are 55 articles on the site and 45 basic pages. And if I search for Voco, then it's gonna narrow this down and show me just how many pages have that. And if I narrow it down even further by taking a certain string of content, then you'll notice that these facets go down. And if I want, I can say, just show me the articles that have this in it. If I click on that, it just narrows it down to these two articles. So at this point we have this faceted search and you can customize things a lot more. Uh, if you want to see how that search page is built, you can go to the views listing and go to the solar search content page. And for me, I, I usually like to have my search page at slash search like that. And we can call it search instead of search content. And you can also change the behavior of the pager. You can change the, the way that the search is rendered and all that kind of stuff. Uh, one of the nice things is you can say, instead of doing the search result highlighting input, you could say, show me the, the teaser for these. And if I hit apply and save, then I go back to my search page at slash search. Uh, now it should be showing me the teasers, but it's not actually. That could be a caching thing. It might not be but this is one of those things where these modules are still in beta status. Uh, so there might be a few quirks that you have to work around like this. Uh, so anyway, that's how you can customize the view further. And at this point, uh, you have search that is very rudimentary, but it has all the components that all these other sites have in them. Uh, there's also an experimental module for search API, the facets that shows a summary of all the, the things that you've selected so that you can have that listing like you saw in Zappos where it shows the different things you have selected and a summary of your search results. Uh, but but at, at this point you have the search working and you can make it do a heck of a lot more. Now you can also change the way that the, the index is created and you can add things like a filter that lets you put in uh, just parts of a word and would still give you content back. In this case, uh, if I type in OCO, it's not gonna give me any content because it's only searching for full words. Uh, you can tell uh, the, the Dismax parser inside of Solar to also break up words into small parts. So you could search for rum and find this content, that kind of thing. You can also do language search uh, options and all these different things. I'm hoping to have time to go into some of those details in future videos and future blog posts. But for now, uh, I'm, very, I'm just happy that the Drupal 8 search module ecosystem has gotten so stable and so much better. I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any comments, comment on the video below or go to my blog and comment on this post about setting up faceted Apache Solar Search in Drupal 8.